the hate army troll. It's the hate army, Big bro. Hate, hate, army. hate army. That guy. Shut up, hate army. Shout out for Good hate. Goodbye to the hate army. Shout out, shout to out hate. Shout out for hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for hate. Shout out to hate. We've got quite a lot of stuff going on today. So we got to jump right in and start talking, shall we? Um. So first off, <clears throat> this week will be a normal length streaming week, okay? None of this, oh, it's eight days long, then it's five days long. It's going to be the normal length, which is good. Uh, especially because of all the stuff going on this week. You know, we've got a new release that we'll be checking out starting today. We've got my big anniversary event, the likes of which I have never done before. It's going to be pretty neat. I'm excited for this week in general. Um, but, I mean, just on top of that, all the stuff that is going on right now in, in the realm of gaming and everything, it's a pretty exciting time. We are on the precipice of the busy fall gaming season in a lot of ways you can argue today actually is the beginning of the big gaming season with the release of Armored Core 6, or maybe not. And what I mean by that is, as you guys remember, over the last, you know, month, two months, we've been talking about what games I should and shouldn't cover when it comes to this gaming season. And, you know, Armored Core 6 being today was really the first game that was going to open the floodgates of new releases pretty much weekly. And we talked about it, and I determined that I really didn't think I wanted to play it. A couple reasons. Number one would be, I'm not into mech combat games. I have never really played one, um, at least recently. Like I told you guys, my history with, with mech combat games is like Virtual On, the arcade game in the 1990s. And then like Slave Zero, the PC game in the early 2000s. And then, you know, arguably the Transformers games and stuff that I played a decade ago, or maybe even Hawken, and we all know how that went if you just watched my Machinima uh, documentary slash react event that I did last month on my React channel, DSP React. Um, so basically I've had no real experience with this style of game. In addition, this game is made by FromSoft, and from those who played previous Armored Core games, the description is pretty simple. You have to build up a mech from scratch with these crazy amounts of custom loadouts. It takes a long time to build your mech. Then you go out and test it in the stage. You get your ass kicked. The, the mech fails miserably, blows up. You gotta go back to the drawing board, redesign your mech from scratch, try a different configuration, go out there, get your ass handed to you, go back, rebuild your mech again. And on the upteenth try, you finally get the swing of it and you beat the stage. Then you're on to the next stage that's completely different and you have to rebuild your mech again. And that's the game, supposedly. So, you know, having heard all of this and saying that this is what the game was, I already told you guys, I'm just not interested in it. This is a game that I don't think would really have much traction on my streams and that I don't think my viewing audience would like that much. I don't know if I would really like it that much. You know, it doesn't seem like a game that's easy to jump into, especially because, again, I've never played an Armored Core game. I've never played any mech game, really, at any big capacity. So... After having talked about this, we decided I wasn't going to play it. And then all of a sudden when I announced that, and this is about, I'd say, maybe a month ago, maybe three weeks ago, people started jumping off. Oh my god, I can't believe you're not playing Armored Core 6. That is absolutely ridiculous. We want to see you play it. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, listen. I'm just making the intelligent decision based on everything that I've been told. So then... Someone offered to buy it for me and said, listen, I really want to at least see you try it. You don't have to commit to playing the whole game. But if I donate the game, will you at least give it a shot on your streams? And I said, well, I mean, yeah. If you're going to to donate it, right, then perhaps I will, I will at least give it a shot. And I'm not committing to a full playthrough or anything like that. But, I mean, it's free. So, yeah, I mean, it's the same as if it were on Game Pass. I would still try it. There's a few games coming out in the next month. For example, Lies of P that I'm kind of not sold on, but because it's on Game Pass, I'm going to try it. So if you're going to donate the game, I'll, I'll treat it the same way, all right? And so that's really where we are today. I told you guys, essentially, I would play this game maybe twice and give it a shot and see, number one, do I like it? Do you like it? Is it something that fits my content style? Is it something that makes sense and is entertaining for me to play or for you to watch or both? And by then, we make that determination. Is this is something that I continue with or we gave it a shot and it's just not for me? Um, so we'll see. And I'll be honest with you guys. <clears throat> I have not looked at any gameplay. I've looked at no reviews, no tutorials. I've stayed away from the game. I've only heard a few people talk about it here or there, and that's it. But the weird thing happened this morning. I woke up this morning, and I'm like, all right, it's Armored Core Day. 
it is time, right, to hear everyone buzzing about this new game. This really is the big new game, the first game. Like I said, that will open the floodgates for all the busy fall gaming releases. Even though it's not fall yet, we still got about another, you know, just under a month of summer. But, you know, it's an early, early release or whatever. Let's, let's see. I jump on social media. Crickets. I see people posting about Starfield. I see people posting about fighting games. I see people posting about peripherals. I see people posting about controversy. Crickets about this game. I can't, I searched for it. And it was hard for me to find people discussing Armored Core 6 on social media today. Um, I guess the question is, is this the kind of game that's hot within a certain niche group? And that group absolutely loves it. It would be what's called a... Um, what do they call that when you have a group that absolutely loves it and follows it and will buy it, but it's not a mainstream success? There's a word for that, and I'm not really thinking about it right now. I can't really, It's not coming to my mind. But, oh, has a cult following. That's what I was thinking. Does it have a cult following? And maybe that's what it is, is that there's a lot of people who like it, but it's they're only within their own group, and they don't really go outside the boundaries of that group, right? Could be. Um, I don't know. A lot of people say, you know, seem to be saying that it's good. They like it. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm very confused about the game, quite frankly. I really was expecting that this, this being the absolute biggest game, or excuse me, the, the first game, is what I meant to say, of the season, that everyone would be a buzz. But it's weird. Everyone has already moved forward. Everyone's Starfield, 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 Starfield. And I think this is what I was talking about with Starfield. It's a make or break game. It's a make or break for Microsoft. It's a make or break for Bethesda. It's a make or break for Game Pass in a lot of ways. Basically, it's a game that absolutely wants either everyone wants it to be great and succeed, or they want it to completely flop and fail, depending, I guess, on which side of the fence you sit, whether you like Microsoft and Bethesda or not. And it's all anyone's talking about right now. So. I'm, I'm looking on social media for any kind of story about uh, Armor Core outside of the reviews. I can't find anything. And I don't want to read the reviews to spoil myself. So, yeah. um, Weird. I guess. So, here's the thing. Like I said, how am I approaching Armor Core 6? I'm playing it today as the daytime stream. I'm going to play it again later this week on Tuesday as the daytime stream. So, we're going to get at least six hours in of gameplay. I'm going to be honest with you guys, but I'm going to give it a very, very fair shot. I'm going to try to learn it, understand it, see if I like it, see if you guys like it, you know? In six hours, you would think at least I would have learned the basics and made some progress, correct? Even if I suck at it, because <clears throat> again, this is as if I'm jumping into a brand new franchise for the first time. So imagine we're back in 2011, okay, 12 years ago, and I'm playing Dark Souls 1 for the first time again. And I've never played a game in that genre before, so I don't understand the whole hyper-difficulty genre. I don't get the controls. I don't get the game mechanics. I just don't understand it. That's really where I'm starting today with Armored Core 6, when you think about it. I am a complete newbie to this game. So I guess we're going to see uh, what exactly happens. All right. And we'll go from there. All right? So, again, I'm willing to give it a shot. Now, we play it twice, and I'm, I'm saying, all right, not so bad. Let's keep going. And you guys are liking it or whatever. Then I'm down for continuing the playthrough and balancing it with Starfield, okay, over the course of, you know, early to mid-September. But if I play it a couple times and I'm hating it or you guys are finding it boring or bull, then, yeah, I don't really think we're going to continue it and we'll just do something else, which is fine. There's plenty of things we can do. To carry us into, you know, mid-September when we have other releases like Lies of P and Mortal Kombat 1 and other games, okay? <clears throat> so let's see what happens. Again, 100% gonna judge it at face value, be honest about my feelings about it, and I'm not gonna be unfair to it. If it kicks my ass, it's fine, because there's no pressure. You understand? That's the good thing. I have no pressure to have to be like, oh my god, I have to beat Armored Core in two weeks. No. He Look, should relax. fucking die. Whoa, 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 Phil. Take it easy. I have no pressure at all. So if I die, I don't care. I'll reapply myself and see if I can learn and, and, and succeed. You know what I mean? That's cool. 
to say, wow, there's actually no pressure here. This wasn't a playthrough that I promised or anything. So it's not like I have to completely, you know, master the game and rush and, and try to rush and, and do this or that. I, it's actually a little bit more refreshing maybe to approach a game like this. So we'll see how it goes today. Okay? All right. Cool. Um, so that being said, let's now talk about... Bigby helps me more than anything.